Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing Peter Prashaka in the One Minute Pool on ICC. I'm going to play this line against the Slav. Um, this is an improved version of a of regular Slav because I haven't had to play A4, so that's nice. Uh, he is just giving me the bishop pair too, so a really comfortable position just right off the bat. I'll go bishop c2, that seems plausible. Um, here, attack his queen. Ooh, queen e2 to keep his knight out. Let's go g4, expand a little bit. He's going to have a hard time making moves, I think. Uh, let's go rook d2, maybe double up. Kind of just straightforward, looking to break in the center. Uh, let's do it. Check. Let's see how this shakes out. If he takes on c3, I can take on c6. Oh, I'm actually losing a pawn, but I win this pawn back. Okay, so no harm, no foul. Uh, let's go here. Let's maintain these two bishops. Let me bring this bishop in. Um, bishop f5. If g6, I can go back here and pop this bishop out to a2. Hard to say who's better, although I think now my position is taking a turn for the better. He can push this deep on pretty aggressively, though. Yeah. Have to be careful. Must be careful. Okay, let's go here. Time warp. He's going to establish this very annoying pass pawn. Check. Hmm. Well, I think this position is drawn, but I'm on the worst side of a draw. There's no doubt about that. Now I'm actually threatening to take his bishop, so he's kind of got to take. Maybe not. Hmm. Okay. Again, I'm threatening to take his bishop. Check. Check. I'll run my king up here. See what we can do. Check. 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 Okay, got him at the end. Interesting. Even though I like hung my rook at the end, uh, rook b8, if he takes it, I can take his rook. That's a crazy game. All right, actually, I played faster than usual in the first game of the session, so I'm happy about that. Looks like we're going to have a little speed match against Peter Prajaka. This guy's also very quick. Uh, let's go bishop h5. I think he's going to, hmm, I'll trade the dark square bishops, see if we can induce that trade. Go here. Okay, I'm happy to get to a knight versus bishop position. I think good chance that this pawn will just be weak. Let's go queen b6. I'd love to surround that pawn, actually. Can't I just take that? If queen d4, well, I have this move now. If queen d4, I had knight d7, so I'm winning the exchange. This is great. This is excellent. This is just winning if I continue as I am. Okay. Let's just shut down some counterplay. And he can barely move now. Um, as usual, though, I'm not doing a good job of winning. <laughs> of actually winning the position. Let's go here. That ensures a queen trade. Hung his queen. Okay, at 2503, after a couple wins against Peter Prajaka. I'm feeling good. I'm ready to kick the tires and light the fires this session. Ready to rock. Who's playing right now? I'm playing in the evening time, US. Those with the ace is my next opponent. Okay, I'm getting a lot of Slavs lately. Just coming up against this line like all the time. I know the Slav is a popular opening, but the frequency that I've been encountering it in bullet games is just off the charts. Yeah, and they often choose the same setup too. See if they know not to take on d4 quite yet. Nope. This guy took on d4 early. I'm usually getting good positions when this happens. So I'm going to go bishop f2 next is my next move. And then e4, and then open that diagonal up right towards his queen. Check. Uh, let's do this. You can go knight f4, but I have this move. And he's got to watch himself because I'm hitting the knight. There's discoveries on his queen too. 
is around about the time they start uh, burning some clock time. Okay, this just wins material, does it not? Attacking his queen, attacking the bishop twice, knight and queen. He can't block a bishop c5. Yeah, so he's just losing material. Um, just checking to see if I can take with a queen. I think I can. Yeah, that's the safest. Because if he comes down, I have queen d8. And then if knight f8, I have knight e7 check, king h8, queen takes f8, mate. So he resigned. Cool. Yeah, I highly recommend this line. This line pays dividends. All right. So looks like this time around we're getting like a anti-Moran. Not sure what setup he's adopting exactly here. He should play c takes d5 most likely. Although, if c takes d5, I have knight b5. Do I want to do that though? Um, let's do that. Okay, we'll just do this line. Pretty standard. Hmm. Let's go g3. He's playing to weaken my king quite a bit though. I'm somewhat concerned. Ah, uh, gotta be careful. Okay, let's go here. I'm trying to attack d5. Do this. Uh, ooh, that's a good move. I can't take it because he wins my queen. Um, yeah, that's bad. Okay, let's go here. That just loses a piece, though. Why did I do that? That was not a good move by me. Um, yeah, I have no explanation why I did that. I'm going to resign. Tom. I kind of got discombobulated in those tactical consequences. It's that flurry of tactics there. Okay, so Sauerkraut is our current opponent. Slavko Cicak, probably my most encountered opponent this time control. Just a real, real perennial opponent around about these parts. Okay, let's go here. I'm going to try to break with e5. Let's just break in the center. Mass exchanges. Mass exchanges. Let's go g6. Hmm. Okay. Gonna try to bring my rook up and attack some stuff of his. Case in point, that pawn. Check. Let's go h4 to fix that pawn. For now, okay, to be a little bit careful. Don't want him to go e6. Definitely do not want him to go e6 on me. Huh. So his king is in a very awkward spot. Time I think I'm winning this. Check. I think I'm actually winning this. If I can execute it correctly. Yeah, pretty sure I am. Check. Yeah, this is winning. So I eat all his pawns. Check. Check. I just run the F pawn. Check. This F pawn just has a mind Check. of its own. Check. Check. Um, let's go here. Check. Hmm, I was actually risking a stalemate at the end since this king had no moves, but... Alright, now we got an NECF in schools. Yeah, I think Sauerkraut should have put his king on g2 instead of h4. That would have been a theoretical draw, wouldn't it? I could be wrong about that, but... Alright, this is a line I have some experience with. Uh, let's castle now. Go bishop d7, pretty standard stuff. Pretty standard. B5 coming if I'm allowed. Ooh, but I have this fork. This is convenient. Here I'm winning a piece, basically. Yeah, almost just a full piece. Mm, let's cover that back rank first and foremost. I'm going to push G6. Get his bishop out of here. Um, let's just march our king over. C5. 
seeing as how he has to defend a lot of stuff. Um, okay, let's just do this. Our knight is coming to this e6 square soon. Time. Okay, let's take that guy. Mate. All right, so got a win against NECF. Don't know why you made me play that out so late, but <laughs> occasionally you run into people who do that. All right, let's go B4. Um, let's play A4 now. Just go for all-out attack against that pawn. All-out attack against... Uh, D6. Because now if he plays 98, I can... Yeah, he's just gonna... He's gonna go all in here, basically. Um, let's go back. He's just totally sacking material. Trying to make it crazy. Check. Yeah, this is not going to end well for him, so he resigned. All right, I'm at 25.39. See if we get another exchange. Exchange Slav. Mm, sharp or something this time around. Okay, this line. This variation. At E4. I'm not too familiar with this one. Uh, yeah, he can do that, can't he? It's not good for me. Um, okay. I think I should take on F6 quicker in this line. Yeah, because here I'm just busted. I'm just going to resign. My position was awful. All right, Ivan Shuki is next. I always forget to take on F6. I don't play that variation very often. Never in uh, anything but blitz games or bullet games, but let's go bishop d3. Knight d2, maybe. We'll let him win a pawn if he wants. Okay, does not want to do that. Hmm. I would like to play for um, e4, I think, coming up. Let's Check. do that. Check. This looks unpleasant. Attacking the rook and also b7. Try to take the initiative. Oh yeah, this is getting good. This is the exchange. Okay. You can play knight a4. This is true. Guess for the moment I'm defending. Need to make luft for my king. He has rook c2. Is that what he's getting at? Okay, I'll push the d pawn. Push the d-pawn, try to cause trouble. Just keep pushing it. I can exchange queens if I want. Time. Queen d4. Check. Ooh. Check. Not good. Check. Not good at all. He might take the draw now. Uh, I have this move, right, to defend? No mate. No mate, I hope. Oh yeah, I'm defending now. Queen e5 coming. Check. Queen e5 on the rise. Check. 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 All right, he didn't quite make it. All right, <laughs> I probably sacrificed my rook too early in that one. That was an insane game. Who is Ivan Chucky? 
Luis Ibarra. Yeah, I went from probably completely winning that game to uh, losing, maybe, at the end. I mean, my position looked pretty dangerous. I might not be losing in this position, but he has at least a perpetual. Um, yeah, and then I had horrible technique. I was just, I wasn't sure about the time. It was one of those situations where I couldn't glance over at the clock because uh, I didn't want my time to run out in doing so. So we've got NECF again, our old foe. Yeah, this is Jorge Samor Hasbun. He's very fast, very tactical. I've played him OTB once before, I want to say. It was a draw many years ago, like 2002 or 2003, something like that. Check. Let's give a check and then go here. Let's see how he wants to defend that. I like my position right now. This is good. I have a lot of pressure. It's not going away anytime soon. Lots of pressure. Bishop takes d3, rook takes c2. Yeah, this is collapsing for him. Let's just keep pestering him with exchanges. Uh, let's go here. I'm gonna play a5 probably next move. He can barely do anything. I can take that guy. Take that guy too. Alright, here's I. Yeah, just take a bunch of material. <laughs> that has been my strategy in, in beating him. Hope we get to play him again. He's fun to play though because uh, you can see he can strike tactically at any moment as evidenced by that crush that he had over me a few games ago. I'm going to play a couple more games, maybe two or three more games. Action appears to be pretty good. It's about 10.30 at night right now, Central U.S. time. NECF and Sauerkraut are playing. Voice is a lot better today. Um, I've just been trying to rest it for the past 24 hours or so. I'm still not all the way there, so I'm not going to like strain myself, but I uh, feel I'm getting better, knock on wood. Hmm, taking on b5 would have been interesting there. Move a go. Right after e5 for sauerkraut. Knight takes b5. He doesn't have to because he's already up a pawn. So. Seems like any NECF, if he has a weakness, he um he tends to play too loose. And common problem of dynamic players. Like he he allows a lot of stuff. I'm actually probably a player type that he has trouble against because um I like taking material and holding onto it. <laughs> so just speculating, but yeah, he's in he's in tilt mode now. And he's um, definitely not happy with his play. So he's kind of kind of going off the rails. Not like I'm playing this super amazing or anything, but I guess I'll just. Like centralize and do stuff. Yeah, he's going to try desperately to mate me, basically. It actually might work. Check. I hope it doesn't. Do I have a mate here? Do I, do I, do I? Check. He has to be very careful now. Um, check, check I guess. Check. Okay, he resigned. I was going to go queen b5. Is that mate? Yeah, actually it is, because I'm going to get my good dark square bishop in. For instance, like, check, um, take queen b5, and check. if, like, here, check. check, here, bishop d6. Check mate. So the bishop and the queen are enough to do it on their own. Yeah, or if uh, king c8 in that position. I guess I'll just go back a few moves. So check. check if king c8, I have check, check, and then regardless of whether he goes here or here, check here. All right, we're going to play him again. And ECF. Mm, let's go Let's go e6 again. We'll play something a little bit different, though. Maybe like a Cambridge Springs delayed. <laughs> I don't know what you would call this line. I played h6 for no apparent reason. But that's okay. 
At least I'm preventing him from castling right now. Check. It's a plus. I'll try to play c5 soon. This is usually what you do in this line. Um, I guess I'll go knight e4. If I take, I'm hitting his bishop. So he has to respond to that. Uh, let's just go back. b5, maybe. He's going to try to get some pieces up to attack me with. But... Hmm. This will be interesting. He wants to push e6. That much is clear. Um... Hmm. Yikes. Okay, I'm just going to push this and hope. And hope that it works out. Check. Let's Check. just push these guys. Um, okay. I'm defending against everything for now. Oh, that was something I was worried about. Um, let's go back here. Can afford to Check. do this, can't Check. I? Check. Check. Oh, he hung his queen. Check. 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 Yeah, that's mate. All right, well, that was a crazy game. <laughs> you know there's going to be some trick at the end. You just, I just had a feeling. I mean... Okay, what could I have done to make this simpler? He played king h2. I should have something simpler than what I did, b2, and then promote. <laughs> it's unbelievable that after rook c8, I'm up, uh, well, I'm up a queen, basically, plus a little more, but I'm not, I don't see an easy win, because he's threatening mate. Crazy, crazy position. Well, I should have just expended one tempo, like b2 was not good. I should have just played rook f6 or something. Okay, let's play another game or two. We'll call it quits. I'm at 2572. It's a pretty good session so far today. Who's playing right now? Sauerkraut and those with the A's. Those with the A's has Sauerkraut really messed up. Wow, he played the wing gambit. B4. I move two. Sauerkraut is getting demolished right now. Poor Sauerkraut. He doesn't have enough time left. Not nearly. Hmm. Horobets is our current opponent. Let's play in English. I'm going to try to blast open the center. It looks fun. I'm going to go rook d1 now. So, in this type of setup, I have control over d5, but he does not have control over d4. So I think that works against him a little bit. Um, let's go... That's actually a pretty good move. That's an annoying move. Let's go rook b1. I'm not sure how to respond to that. Guess I'll Check. take... I want to back his bishop off. It's not simple. Let's go bishop d2 now. But I don't want to play e4 at the same time. Okay, let's just go here. Attack his queen, huh? My net is loose. I have to pay attention to that. Let's go here. I want to try to stick my knight on d5 Check. before he has a chance to maneuver into d4. He's going to get in there, though. Mm, this is interesting. This imbalance. Let's go bishop a3. I don't know about this move, though. Ooh, now I get to go d6. This looks pretty strong, because I win this pawn. Oh, yeah. Connect these pawns. Let's start working our way in. Threatening queen g6. He saw it. Trying to dominate his knight right now. It's working. Maybe I'll go king g2 just to safeguard everything. Check. Here I have check. And then take this. Check, huh? Threatening his check. bishop. Check. Check. Must be mate somewhere. Check. Right? All right. Check. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna keep it simple. Check. Check. Okay. All right. Last game. It's going to be against Sauerkraut. The sauerkraut the man. Alright. We're doing like a... 
I don't know, hedgehog -y setup, let's call it. Let's go g4. We'll play it principally. h4. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. I'm trying to go f6 if I can. He might have played one too many quick moves there. He can take on f5 and we can trade queens. But I gotta think I have a huge advantage in this resulting position. I do I do win a pawn. So that is nice. Uh, let's just take. Okay. Let's bring this down. Oh, I'm hanging stuff. Not good. Not good at all. Oh, he didn't take it though. Interesting. What am I doing? I'm just hanging stuff. Unreal. <laughs> Check. I have Check. no clue what I'm doing, guys. This is bad. Awful final game. Just awful. Check. Okay. Time warning. Check. Is this like a... No. Check. I was going to say for a second, is this a draw? Check. <laughs> I was genuinely confused for a minute. Check. I Check. should just resign right now. Check. But I'm Check. gonna make him sweat it out Check. just a little bit more. And then I'll probably resign. Check. Alright, let's just resign. Yeah, that was really, really bad. I I was completely caught by surprise by D5 and then rook D8. Because if I play rook E5, I don't know. I probably should play rook E5 actually. I was like, oh, I'm losing one pawn. Oh no, now I'm losing D4 or F5. <laughs> And he played this, and I just like, I, I was so excited that I could keep my F-pawn, I just moved it and lost the bishop. All right, so that's, that's kind of a downer on the session. But overall, it was a good session. So let's take a look at the stats. Um, I started against Peter Prajaka right down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 games, and I lost 1, 2, 3 on the session. Not bad, so 11 and 3, including a lot of wins against NECF, Jorge, some more has been who's a good player. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be back tomorrow with another bullet video and please leave me any feedback in the comments. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.